Dawn McGee here again from Royal Page Atlantic. I'm just going to go over uh, a Nova Scotia real estate review, a comparison between uh, 2019 and what happened here in 2020. <music> I wanted to um, let you know that I gathered this information from our MLS system and I used the figures of closed sales. So these are all um, properties that have closed uh, and the money has changed hands. So that's where I've gathered my figures from. Um, other calculations, other um, reports you may see are based on firm deals, meaning um, all the conditions are met, but yet the closing date hasn't actually happened. Now I use um, closed sales because um, some areas of Nova Scotia um, brokerages, uh, they don't post what the property sells for until it closes. So when they post that a deal is firm, it enters a zero price for the home sale. Um, so anyways, that kind of skews um, the overall averages when you're trying to calculate um, the average home sale price. So that's why I use the closed deal um, figures. So first of all, uh, Nova Scotia overall uh, saw an in increase of 11% on the home sale prices. So home sales across Nova Scotia sold for 278000 so, uh, and that's from Cape Breton down to Yarmouth. Overall, in unit sales, it saw an increase of 9%, uh, which is not too bad considering there was a pandemic going on. But uh, considering the amount of uh, buyers that weren't able to find something um, due to lack of housing, uh, that 9% could have been much greater had we had the inventory to supply the demand. In the Halifax region, um, for 2020, the average home sale price was uh, 358,000. Uh, that was an increase of 13%. Um, the greatest area, uh, greatest sector that saw an increase was the new home sales or homes uh, just under a year old. That saw a 37% increase uh, with the average home sale price in that category at 438,000. Um, Oceanfront saw the greatest increase to uh, percentages uh, on, on the increase in home sale price. Ho Oceanfront went for an average price of 614000 in the Halifax area. Oceanfront overall um, saw the greatest increase across Nova Scotia as far as home price increase. In the Annapolis Valley, the average home sale price was $212,000. Uh, that's just an increase of 10%. Now, the Annapolis Valley incorporates uh, a large area from um, the edge of Mount Uniac down to Yarmouth. So you get a wide range of price home prices um, in that section. So that tends to affect the overall average uh, because, of course, in Wolfville, Kenfield area, you're going to have a lot higher prices than you are uh, down towards Annapolis Royal. And, of course, uh, with uh, buyers expanding their searches um, beyond the Halifax region, uh, just because of the lack of inventory, um, that uh, increased a lot of the number of sales in those more rural areas. Um, and of course, uh, lakefront and oceanfront saw a 21% uh, price increase in the home sales. Recreational properties really uh, having a, a banner year this year. Um, now, so sure, uh, the average home sale price was 238,000. Um, that's, that's an increase of about 11%. The greatest um, number of uh, increases in price was uh, happening on the South Shore. Now overall, um, the South Shore typically has less inventory um, just because it's more of a seasonal area, uh, not as much year-round employment uh, or year-round residents. Um, so when um, people uh, did the <laughs> immigration out uh, to the more rural areas, it really had an impact on driving those average numbers up for unit sales and overall price increases. 
So the oceanfront prices uh, increased 24% uh, on the South Shore, which brought the average oceanfront price uh, to 514,000. So some gorgeous oceanfront uh, in that area. So uh, that's no surprise to me. But anyways, any uh, more real estate questions? Uh, I love talking stats and data. So uh, I'm here to answer any questions you have about Nova Scotia real estate. Take care.